Want to show you guys my uh, direct descendant. This is my great grandfather going back several generations. He had five first names Maria Luigi Carlo Zenobio Salvatore Carabini, born in Florence, Italy, 1760, died 1842. It's pretty cool to have uh, a direct descendant on a postage stamp. Um, so I'm going to go over some, some of the memorabilia I've collected of him over the years. So I'll give you like a little brief history. He was one of 11 or 12 children. He was uh, a child prodigy at the age of six, very similar to Mozart. His father uh, played the harpsichord. Uh, my great-grandfather uh, played the violin, um, the harp, um, and the cello. Uh, he uh, wrote um, his first opera music at the age of 13. Uh, so he was heavily entranced uh, and, and involved in music. He won a scholarship from the Grand Duke of Tuscany, which was uh, Leopold II, who later became Emperor of Austria. Leopold II uh, granted my great-grandfather a scholarship uh, to study in Milan and Bologna. Eventually, my great-grandfather um, uh, moved away from Italy and uh, spent time in England, Austria, Germany, and eventually settled in France. Uh, the Grand Duke of Tuscany actually happened to be Marie Antoinette's brother, and uh, my great-grandfather ended up eventually becoming Napoleon Bonaparte's court composer. So for a good 10 years or more, my great-grandfather was uh, writing uh, operas and uh, church music and mass music, and a lot of it was played for Emperor Napoleon. Uh, he was also... Uh, the best of friends with uh, uh, Ludwig von Beethoven, and um, and he also wanted to uh, meet uh, Mozart in person, but because Mozart died at a very young age, my great-grandfather never got to uh, meet Mozart. Um, but both of these guys uh, were producing music at around the same time period. So here's one of the first items I have, which is a, uh, a canceled uh, stamp on a postcard. And uh, this is um, from Hungary, from Budapest, and it's dated 17, it uh, shows his date of birth, 1760 to 1842. Uh, another thing I can show you is, uh, well, that's also, um, we have a uh, canceled stamp of his from Italy, I believe. Yep, from Rome. And uh, this is uh, right there, Carabini when he was, getting older in age. Uh, this is an article I picked up um, showing his time spent in England. This is uh, some postage stamps I picked up of him in a complete sheet. Uh, they're canceled. This is from um, the country of Guinea-Bissau. And you'll see in here um, the traditional instruments that he played at the time, the violin, the cello, and the harpsichord. Uh, again, this is him, Carabini, 1760-1842, and uh, this is entirely written in French. I don't uh, speak French fluently, but uh, I just want to point out over here that his two most famous operas were Medea, which uh, in English it would be written M-E-D-E-A, and uh, in the Water Journal, they say, uh, I can't even pronounce it, De Journées. Um, so those were his two most famous operas at that time period. Uh, next up is uh, quite a rare tobacco card. I was lucky to find this. And uh, this is also quite a very rare uh, bronze medallion that I picked up of him. And you'll see on there it says Louis Carabini. Uh, when he became a French national, he uh, decided to uh, get rid of his name of Luigi, and he became Louis Carabini while he lived over in France. These are more of his portrait stamps. You've seen these already. Another one from Hungary. Some more of them from Italy. And then we have uh, some nice uh, big uh, postcards. So you saw the small image. Here's the larger image. Uh, this medallion or medal that he's wearing is the Legion de Honor, which was given to uh, someone in the um, in the musical arts. 
and uh, my great grandfather, once he received that, he wore this proudly on any jacket. So many times when you see uh, pictures of him, he's wearing this Legion de Honor. Uh, when he passed away in um, 1842, he was buried in Paray Lachey Cemetery in France, which is the same cemetery that um, entombs um, author Oscar Wilde, as well as uh, the Doors lead singer, Jim Morrison. Here is um, a cabinet card of Luigi Carabini. And I like this because this is actually how he would sign his name. So... I'm trying to eventually find an original autograph of his, but that's exactly how he would sign his name at that time period. El Carabini with like a circle all the way around it. Um, here's a, uh, a newer card of his that was made. Back to some more um, postcards or cards of his. And you can see again, he's, he's got the Legion de Honor medal on his jacket. Always very regal looking. And this was how they dressed for the time period. Again, here's his uh, facsimile signature, El Carabini. Uh, here is a, um, a canceled uh, stamp of Italy. And I like this uh, one because it actually shows his affiliation with being a Freemason. I read somewhere that he actually tried to hide his affiliation being a Freemason. I'm not exactly quite sure why. Maybe because he was uh, of Roman Catholic faith and maybe that conflicted with him being a Freemason. I'm not 100% sure. But in any event, um, that is um, another stamp of his. And then we're back to some more postcards of him in his later years. And then this is uh, the earliest image I have of him. Um, and some of you will probably wonder, like, why was his first name Maria? Well, the reason is because uh, he happened to be born on the Feast of the Virgin Mary. And in Italy at that time period, if you're born on that day, that particular day, whether you're male or female, all children are given the first name of Maria as their first name. So eventually, of course, he dropped Maria and he became known as either Luigi Carabini or Louis Carabini. Carabini uh, actually means angels in Italian. So we have uh, more of his canceled postcards. And I like this one because it actually has Firenze written on here, which is exactly where he was born. There's also, if you go to Florence, Italy, there's also an actual music conservatory named after him in Florence, Italy. Um, and then we have more canceled stamps of him again from Firenze. We have another postcard showing his affiliation as being a Freemason with the compass, the square, the triangle, and the all-seeing eye. Some more canceled postcards of him from Italy. And the last couple of images that I'm going to come to is uh, we have another postcard of him right there in color. And again, he's got the Legion de Honor on him. And we have a, uh, another nice cabinet card of him. Again, very regal, the way he was dressed. He eventually became um, a French uh, citizen as he renounced his Italian citizenship. Uh, he married a French um uh, musician and Cecile Tourette and um, and he had three children with her um, he had uh, two daughters one named Victory or Victoria another one called Zenobi after his um, one of his middle names Zenobio and uh, he also had a son Maxime um, otherwise known as Max Carabini who later on became a very famous painter and artist for the time period if any of you happen to have any Carabini items, whether it's postcards, music sheets, um, opera scores, signatures, uh, postage stamps, any old tobacco cards of him, any image of him, uh, please get in contact with me because um, if I don't already have it, I probably will buy it from you if the price is right. 
Uh, so message me or contact me and let me know if you have any items of his because I would be seriously interested in buying such from you. Thanks for watching, guys.